winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, low. Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to my summer car. So we're starting off, we gotta get some food. Uh, so we'll have some sausage. And then we need to go drink something and take a little snooze. So just gonna drink some water. Okay, go and then <clears throat> then uh, we'll take care of our fatigue and then we'll uh, work on getting the car ready to be started uh, this is like the first part of in excuse me of finishing the car um, so we're gonna do quite a bit in this episode this will be a little bit longer and then the next one will be a little bit shorter probably or this one will maybe be the shorter one. I don't know. One of these is going to be short. One's going to be long. That's all I know. Okay, so we're good. We can just take care of the rest of this stuff later. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is put the battery in the car. So we need our battery. And that goes right here like so. And then we need to go into tool mode and get an 8 for our electrics. So we have two 8mm bolts in here to tighten. So I'm recording this right after the previous video. Um, if you saw the previous video, I had to take the engine back out um, because I had accidentally forgot to put the fan belt on so uh, I got that put back on put on all that good stuff so fuel strainer how does this guy go in again like this or something I don't remember Let's see it's got to go on like the side or something where does it go? Uh, I always hate when I can't figure out where stuff goes. Fuel strainer. Fuel strainer. Fuel strainer goes just like that. So I need to pick it up from this side. Oops. Aha, there it goes. Okay, so we need to go on here. See, this just has the one eight millimeter. So we need to get our radiator in, which requires a seven. And then we get to have the joys of putting all the hoses in. And I say that with sarcasm because the hoses are not fun to put in at all. Not at all. Where are the bolts on this thing again? Aha. And there are the four. Okay, so now we need hose one, which is this one. 
Maybe now, since I've done this already once, maybe it'll go easier. I have no idea. So there's one. Then we need two. I can't remember how two goes in here. Oh, I had it. There we go. And then we need three, which... This one, I really don't remember how it goes. I think it's got to come off of this. Yeah, it does. Somehow. Okay, I gotta look here now. How does this one go in again? Oh, of course I have to wait for this to load. We're not quite that far down. Radiator, radiator, hoses. Hose three. Oh, that's right. That one goes underneath of the car. I forgot that this one goes under. Just a matter of where. Where and how. Okay, where and how does this thing go? Goes like over here somewhere. Oh, I see it. I just can't get to it because of how I picked this thing up. This one has to go like this under here. Ha! Okay, so next is the oil filter, which we just tighten on by hand, so we don't need any tools for that. Where's the slot for the oil filter? Oh, top of the car. Is it? No, this is what I thought. Oil filter, where? I just saw a check mark. Where was it? Okay, I need to look here. Should be pretty obvious as to where this thing goes. But, of course, it's not. Ugh, of course, I grabbed the thing, stupid. Not remember where the oil filter goes. Guess we gotta look again. Oh, for crying out loud, it's like right there. Oh, there it was. Ha. Okay, so now we need an 8 millimeter. Clutch and brake master cylinders. No. Ah. Okay, so we have two eights here on each
And then we have one nine each on the inside. Clutch lining and for the brake lining. Clutch lining just needs to. Let's see. This is the clutch lining. So the one is there, and the other one is, yeah, right there. And then the brake lining has eight, it says, so this ought to be fun. Plus, finding getting it in here is a pain. Oh wait, I also have it backwards. Well, maybe I didn't. I don't know. No, I didn't. Did. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. Yep, I did. Got it. Okay, so there's eight for this thing. One, two, three. only two of course where oh where is the other one? Oh, I think I know where it's at yeah right there of course you gotta go all the way over here and now where the heck is it oh right in my face literally right there Okay, wheel nuts, um, which is a seven, which is what we have. Well, that's right, that's these guys here. I should snap them straight. somewhat straight. Oh, that's right. I got to adjust them later on. Forgot about that. There's three. And final one of those. Right. Right there. <laughs> okay, then we need to get an 11 for the fuel tank. We have to put on underneath. So we gotta go down here and put it on. Which is pretty simple. Bam. That has 
seven of those. Oh, I have an itch on my ankle. Okay. So I'll tighten all seven of these. Two, three, and four. And then there should be some up here as well. Yep, and then we gotta get a 12 to close that. And then I have, I have it put, so here's what I have written down. Close drain with 112, which is right there. And then tighten the half shafts to the engine with a 9. And then I have it as the end of the video. So, what are we at for time right now? Yeah, that's definitely not going to be the end of the video. Um, we'll keep going for a little bit because that's too short. And then that means that the next video is just that much longer. So, Okay, so we'll get a 9 and tighten these half shafts down. That's a 10. Tighten these onto the engine and then uh, move on to the next step. Where is this half shaft at? There it is. Okay, there's that one. Okay, so we'll put the gear linkage on. Uh, we need a five for that. And the gear linkage is this right here, isn't it? Gear linkage. Uh, this guy, it goes on somewhere like this or something, right? Yeah, I had it. There we go. Okay, and that has three of these somewhere. Okay, my video is up so I can close that and not get those anymore. Okay, so where did this gear linkage go? Alright, so there's one. Um, and I think I need to go under here for these. I think it'd be just a little lot easier to be down here. Or not, I don't know. Yeah, this is where they are now anyways. There's two bottom and one top. Okay, where's the other bottom? Oh, there it is. Right next to each other. So then we need the shifter, which is... Oh, I'm standing. Which is, um... Three, six millimeters. I felt like I was going to sneeze there. Okay, then we need an 8. Actually, okay, let's grab our 8. And then let's take care of our hunger and thirst and fatigue. Actually, let's start out with the fatigue. Because the hunger and thirst always goes up when you sleep. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. So now we'll go take care of the hunger. Because the hunger always makes the thirst go up. There's always some rhythm or something to it. Okay, we need the flashlight, which is in here. Where is the flashlight? Flashlight. Ha. So now I gotta try and set this in here so it's on. Potato chips. Okay, so now we'll close that. And then we'll shut this off and just set it on the table here. Okay, we'll go take care of our thirst and then our urine and we'll be all good to get back to work. Come on, thirst, go down. My bag of chips couldn't have made it that high. Guess it did. kind of crazy that can go 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 <laughs> oh cool Okay, uh, now we can get back to work. Um, okay, handbrake, that's what we're doing next. four up here and then down by the fuel tank there is a one five millimeter bolt put on the muffler which needs a seven yes one seven millimeter now the reason I'm doing the exhaust first is because I learned from my previous car that the exhaust pipe does not want to stay up and then I did some reading and found that it will stay better if you put the exhaust in first I did that and it went right in so hopefully that will happen here too um, and the exhaust pipe also requires a 7 so now we can get this in see that's what I mean by it not staying But the uh, maybe that's the ghost that my buddy was talking about. That other door just shuts on its own. On its own, this is open. What the? I'm just waiting for that bedroom door to open because he said it opens. He said either Friday night or Saturday night, you'll hear like doors open and stuff will start moving around. 
freaky stuff starts happening. So he did some research and people were saying it was a ghost. Which I don't know if that's what it is actually or not. Stay up there. Sweet. Well, that was kind of a odd situation there, huh? <laughs> like I said, I don't know if a ghost is what that actually is and was or, or what. But it was definitely freaky. I'll give it that. Ah, there's that second one. No, well, that's the one that I tightened. Where in the world is the second one down here? Or no, there's two up top. That's what it is. Yeah, I have not opened that pantry door. Or that closet door in the kitchen. So that also opened when the house door shut. So I don't know. That was some freaky stuff right there. He said he would hear footsteps too. And he said he was out in the garage working at night. He heard footsteps too. So, I don't know. That was some freaky stuff. Okay, so we'll get the fuel pipe on and then that'll be all for this video. Alrighty, that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. And my pen is not working. Uh, be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.